Today we are building something, boys. Something that potentially will stay here for the books, okay? You guys know I have built stuff in the past, like past PHP, Pale, Pint, and other stuff. Today I want to build Pack. <laughs> but something that a little bit different than the usual, okay? A spell check that will check if your classes are named correctly, if your PHP annotations have, uh, you know, uh, any problem. So if you type something like, let's say, get name with double A, for example, you will have like a console tool that will check if there is a spelling mistake here and will just let you know about that, okay? Uh, Pop is saying it starts with a P. Oh yeah, baby, we have to, we have to, right? <laughs> I want to start literally from scratch, from nothing, so you guys can see exactly how I do things, okay? So the first thing I do, the very first thing I do is come up with a name, okay? So pack, I think it's a cool name, four words. I can't remember of a package, call it pack. It doesn't really matter. If you want to change this in the future, you can just do it real quick. The second thing I do is creating an organization, okay? So typically, I like to work with organizations because Potential in the future, I'm not really sure if I'm to be the one maintaining the project, maybe someone else will take over. And if you just create an organization, people just feel more welcome to the project. So I feel it's a great idea. So that being said, let's get started. Is everyone ready on that side? If you're ready, just say yes, man, because I'm like literally pumped up for this, okay? So what I do always is just literally come here and type new organization, okay? So when you do this, typically GitHub asks you if you want this for free or a team or whatever. I just choose the free stuff. So the first question is the organization name. This typically causes some problems because most of the names are taken. Like this one is for sure taken. So I just include like the wording at the beginning, like PHP pack, and that's it. Actually pack PHP, it's probably a little bit better. Then something I do is just put my own email at the bottom right there, bam, 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 but the boom, it's a personal account. I accept all the terms and conditions and let's go. So this will set up the organization. And at the moment I should have literally zero project on this, okay? I skip this step because it's literally to add other people, I come to repositories and I click on new repository. So the repo name here, it cannot be something a little bit weird, you know, like course, core framework or whatever. You want it to be something really simple. So I'm going to just type pack right here. So pack dash PHP pack, just like Laravel PHP, Laravel, past PHP, past, you know, something really cool. You know what I mean? So the description, we can do it later. The project will be fully open. Okay. Everyone will be able to contribute to this project, even yourselves. Okay even yourself so so we have the repo so the first thing i can do is just literally clone the repo locally and i'm going to clog clone on this existing project i have i can just type git clone and then put this little thing GitHub's gives you so bam i clone inside of the project which typically gives me a pack a pack folder within this folder i am at the moment i just move the dot git folder to one step below, just like that. I remove the pack file again, and hopefully now I should, I should just have, you know, my entire project on my staging area, which I do. Again, add everything and do git commit first. Actually, uh, I'm gonna just commit with the message edge skeleton. So something you don't want to, like this is like a top masterclass lesson that you guys need to always master, okay? Which is when you are prototyping, when you want to move fast, when you get when you want when you want to get stuff done, one very important thing is that don't get stuck in like in the betweens, like, oh, is this message okay, my first commit message, or should I commit now or later? It doesn't matter, man. The only thing that matters is that you get stuff done. That's it, okay? So here I'm gonna just type add skeleton, okay? Which is the very big, very big minimum thing I have done so far. I'm gonna type git push, and as you can see, the contents of this commit was literally the skeleton of the project. So I have done literally nothing besides just pushing the skeleton. Now, about the skeleton, I want to talk with you about this. So I actually have a, pre a PHP skeleton that I always use. It's called Nuno Maduro slash PHP skeleton. And that's literally the, 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 the skeleton that I always use to create my repositories. So we basically have, you know, the skeleton ready. We are ready to go. The next step is really just start adapting some some of the namespace in some of the package name, some of the metadata of this package. And I'm gonna start by the beginning, okay? So the namespace is something that is configured at composer.json level. So you want to come to you want to come to the name, just type pack PHP, and then the name will be pack. 
And also, you should have this Autoload PSR4, which you want to rename this to Pack. Or just pack at the moment. I feel like this will be a cool name. Just pack, you know, as a namespace. So when you do this, you can now come to the example thing and literally just call this. The namespace of this stuff will be pack. Oop, not passed. Pack. And also, you want to probably adjust the task suite uh, so the example keeps working, okay? Just like that. And we should have a passing task suite hopefully after this change. Or if not, I'm going to just run composer dump. This will basically generate the auto loading again. And now I'm going to type composer test again. Past example not found. Yeah, this is not past, it's pack. Apologize about that, PHP Storm.